Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the Hover Air X1 flying camera. Now, I've had this product for well over six months, and I've been using it an awful lot. And in today's video, I'd like to pass along some of my experiences with the product. I'll point out some of the pros and some of the cons so you can understand if this product is right for you. But before I do, let me explain what Zero Zero Robotics has built with this particular product. Now, I didn't call it a drone, and that was on purpose, because even though it has some drone-like capabilities, it's really a different product completely, because what they tried to design here, and I think they did a great job, is a flying camera that has autonomy built in that the average consumer can use. So essentially what this product provides is a tiny little flying robot that you can open up in less than five seconds and get up in the air, and it has autonomy built in where it can capture some incredibly good footage and some great pictures of you and your friends very quickly, then you can fold it up and put it back in your pocket. So it's a drone because it flies, but it gives you less control than a drone, but in some ways it's smarter than the average drone as well. Now a couple other cool features, first off it's incredibly light. It weighs about five ounces, which it's feather light, it's less than your cell phone as far as weight goes. It also folds up into a tiny little package. You could definitely slide this into your pocket or your purse or your jacket. And when you're ready to use it, you basically snap out the two wings like that, tap the button on the top right here, turn it on, decide which of the autonomous flight patterns you want it to do, put it in your hand, hit the button, and it goes about its business. Now, the cool part about it is they've also built in these protective cages around the propellers, so it's a lot safer than standard drones because if you've ever tried to fly a drone indoors with all those propellers spinning, if that careens near somebody, it's going to hurt them. This one's got the cages on the outside, so it's perfectly safe when it's flying. It lands in your hand. It can bounce off of somebody, bounce off your furniture, not have an issue. It also records pretty good video, so it's got a sensor on the front that'll provide 2.7K at 30 frames a second for video, or 1080p at 60 frames a second, and it takes some pretty cool pictures as well. So really it's perfect for someone that's looking for a way to capture video and pictures when you're out there on your vacations or if you're a blogger, and, and the quality of that is good enough to put right up on your social media channels. The thing I like the best about it, though, is the autonomy. And Zero Zero Robotics has really spent a lot of time making this an incredibly smart product. And what I mean by that is you can quickly pick the pattern you want, whether you want it to orbit you, fly away from you, zoom across the top, or even follow you through a landscape. This product will zero in on you as a person. And if you're walking down the street or you're on a skateboard, it'll follow you either in front or behind you. And all that's built into this tiny little controller right here. Let me pop the battery out and show you how small it actually is. So the batteries are removable. They also have a hub available where you can charge two batteries at the same time. But look at the body of this. I mean, the body is really this right here. And inside that tiny little airframe, they've built in a ton of technology. The artificial intelligence that's built into here to keep track of you through the sensor and fly through those various patterns makes this an amazing product. All right, so what does the product provide? Well. You have a couple of predetermined flight patterns, like I'd mentioned. You can do a circle, you can do a hover, you can do a follow if you want, and all of those are selected right here on the button on the top. So all you have to do simply turn it on and then make your selection, and each one of those selections has various levels. So for example, if you want it to hover, how long is it gonna hover? If you want it to circle you, how far away from you is that circle? So it's incredibly easy uh, from that perspective to adjust it to whatever you need. But the best part about it is you can pull it out of your pocket, again, less than five seconds, open it up, hit the button, and record video. Now, the big difference between this and normal drones or bigger drones is the fact that you can use it pretty much anywhere. I mean, flying a drone indoors is a big deal. If you go to a, I don't know, if you go to any indoor facility and you try to put a drone up, people are gonna come rushing over and tell you to land the drone. With this one, it's quiet, it's not dangerous, it's really friendly. The minute you spin this up, people are gonna to wanna to know what you're doing and they're gonna really enjoy it because it's got that autonomous ability, again, to fly away from you, to capture some video footage as it's pulling back and capturing the images behind you. It's just an incredibly cool product from that perspective. The reasons I think it's like a drone have to do mostly with its aerodynamics. The product flies incredibly stable, and it has electronic image stabilization built into it as well. So even though it's getting buffeted a little bit by the wind, or maybe it's moving around a little bit, you're going to get a rock-solid image. So it's similar to a drone in that respect. It also has all kinds of flight controls to keep it stable in the air, to go through the autonomy, to make sure that it's level. Uh, it's a very sophisticated product from a drone perspective. Now, the reason it's not a drone is because it's incredibly light. 
So if you go outside on a windy day and you put this thing up, it's going to take off. It's going to be a slave to the wind and head for the border of your property. So you have to be really careful about using it on a windy day. Now, there is an application that you can use with this as well, where you can edit some of the videos and photos. It also gives you some elemental control over how the drone flies. So I guess in that respect, it's like a drone, but it's limited as far as what you can do. There's no external controller you can use with it. You're going to use your phone and sort of a, a virtual joystick on your phone to actually direct where it's going and where it's flying, which is enough. I mean, again, you're not designing a drone here. You're designing a flying camera that essentially puts a camera up in the air to capture some incredible footage that you can control to a certain extent, but really the autonomy is the biggest selling point of this product. All right, so a couple other things. The batteries are small. It's a light product. They can't build big batteries into it. So your flight times are fairly limited. Um, I've had it up in the air. I've probably gotten 10, 15, maybe 20 if I'm pushing it, different flight patterns and pictures at a party. So I would recommend right away that a second battery is something you're going to want to look into. And you can charge the batteries incredibly quickly. There's a USB-C connection on the unit right here on the side that you can plug into a charger and you can fast charge the battery in the unit. You can also get the hub, you can get a second battery, you can charge two batteries in the hub, again with a USB-C connection. My recommendation is make sure you pick up the hub. Uh, another thing you wanna be aware of is the fact that the unit itself is incredibly smart and it downloads the images internally to the unit, then you can transfer them to your phone. And that's an advantage because having those images on your phone means you can immediately edit them through the application and upload those to your social media. So you can see that Zero Zero Robotics has really built this to be a blogger's friend, a YouTuber's friend, pretty much anybody that's going on vacation that wants to capture an incredibly cool picture from 25 feet away from you, showing you the area behind you. I mean, that's something you can't do with a selfie stick. So it's really like a virtual selfie stick in that respect. But overall, I've been really, really pleased with this product because I had reservations when it first arrived. I thought, let me give it a shot because there's been a couple of these selfie drones released and they haven't been that great. They're very unstable in the air. They wobble a lot and the images wobble a lot. They're limited in their control. A lot of times the autonomy fails where you decide to do something. It flies away from you and keeps going and you got to chase it through your backyard. With this one, everything worked as advertised. I mean, the autonomy works solid. The follow mode, which is the hardest thing it does, was perfect. Um, I've got some images where my son was on a skateboard. We trained it on him, and it chased him down the road for quite a distance until the battery died. Um, the only complaint I've got on the follow mode is that it wants to follow you. And when it's time for it to land, if you try to get to it before the time is run out, because you get to set how long you want it to follow you and hover, if you try to get to it before its time is run out, the unit is going to pull away from you because it's trying to keep that distance away from you. So it can be a little tricky to end that early, but you can do that through the application. But that was the only snag I saw on the follow mode is that we were done for the day. My son walked over to it to sort of have it land in his hand and, and he couldn't grab it. It kept pulling away from him. But again, the product is incredibly simple to turn on. You hold the button down, tap it again, and then you have a choice of modes. Once you make your selection, you put it in your hand, tap the button again, and it goes about its business, captures some incredibly good video or pictures, and then lands right back in your hand. So overall, I was really, really impressed with this product. It's in my bag every time I leave. I've had it on vacation with me twice, and I can tell you, Family and friends that see this thing fly can't believe it. It's like a Martian technology to them to have a drone autonomously fly away, capture some incredibly good footage, and keep you and your family in the center of that frame. So if you're looking for an easy way to capture those kind of videos, this is the product for you. And again, drones are different. They do a lot of other things. But the autonomy built into this really makes this a brilliant product. And that's all I really had for today. So hopefully you found this review helpful. I like the product an awful lot, and I think you're going to like it as well. So thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, as always, stay nerdy.